Hello everybody, welcome back to OMB Reviews. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today we're doing a box office preview for this upcoming weekend, which sees the brand new film Red One from Amazon MGM. Whoa, expected to have a massive and catastrophic opening weekend domestically. This film had an early release internationally for about a week or so, and has not really been doing that much there. Doesn't look like it's going to be doing that much here either. And with, again, a $250 million budget, this film right now, I can say, is projected to be a massive flop. MGM has not really had a very good track record with their releases theatrically. Now, this is, of course, a multi-billion plus dollar a year company. And so, obviously, Jeff Bezos and everyone else involved could probably easily write this off. But still, money is money. And when you're losing hundreds of millions of dollars on a project, that is never a good thing. And that's exactly what's going to happen with Red One if these numbers actually hold out. And there's no reason to suspect that they will not hold out or at least be close to these numbers here, especially since I have not really been hearing that much about Red One, and it does feature a bunch of actors that most people today don't really care all that much about. I had some interest in it when I heard that uh, J.K. Simmons was expected to be a leading role in this character that seemingly is Santa Claus, but then I looked at the rest of the cast and I thought, wow, yeah, I have no real care at all for any of these persons and have no desire to actually see the film. So if you've seen the film, please let me know if you think it is worth going to watch because it uh, looks like most of the domestic audience is not really showing much interest there. So let's go ahead and dive into that. And also some of the drop offs that are being projected for some of the other films that have been out now for at least a week or two or more. And look at the top three. So Red One, indeed, according to Box Office Theory, Sean Robbins over there, projecting it to make only $28.8 million in its domestic opening. I have no reason or no real you know need to tell you just how bad that is. A $250 million budgeted movie making $28.8 in its domestic release. When you think about some of the other films like Venom or others that can make $50 billion plus dollars in their domestic opening and then hold out uh, as well over time as Venom The Last Dance continues to hold out also. Yeah, Red One, not off to a great start, and I highly doubt that it'll have the type of holds that it would need to pull off a miracle. And unless it's able to pull off some insane international bombs, international releases, which right now it is not doing, at least according to the metrics currently available to us, yeah, Red One projected to be a massive catastrophic flop even already uh, before the film has had a full domestic release. But it is expected to still get the number one spot, so there is that. So I guess take that as a win, Amazon. I'm sure some of the box office shills out there will say, Red One dominates the number one spot at the box office. And just ignore just how much the movie cost and how little this is in comparison to so many other films that have had releases. So Box Office Theory has that at $28.8 million in its opening. Box Office Pro has it at between $20 and $30 million, so... Again, very interesting to see the range there. And then Box Office Report just came out last night with their projection of 27.5. So all within that same range. And if I had to guess, I would say probably going to be around $27 million, maybe even less. Uh, again, I think that this is the kind of movie that uh, unless it's got an amazing word of mouth campaign uh, of people really enjoying it, which I have not been hearing recently from anybody. Uh, if it doesn't have that, then yeah, you could expect the numbers to pay, maybe even come in a little bit less. As I think that some of the box office prosecutors are starting to try to figure out, okay, how can we grade this walk-up traffic, you know, which sometimes is hard to account for. I don't think this is going to be the kind of movie that's going to appeal to a lot of the walk-up traffic, but again... There have been times where I've been wrong before, uh, but even if the film does slightly better than this, it's got a long way to go. I just do not see it being possible at this point for it to make any money. Again, $250 million budget for a film like this does not really come across as a doable proposition. Venom, The Last Dance, The Last Dance, expected to drop for another 44%, but still keep that number two spot in this case. So finally getting knocked off the number one spot, but still $129 million projected as the total domestic gross as of this point. This film is at the point where it is, let me go ahead and go to the chart here real quick, because we love charts here on OMB Reviews. This film is right on the cusp of making some profit, currently $6 million in the red. So by the end of this weekend, I will confirm right now, yes, by the end of this weekend, it will indeed fall into the profit profitability territory because that 8.9 million domestic it gets a pretty good cut of that it's still making money internationally and so indeed it will start to make some money uh so kudos to them for being able to make a film that makes its profit that makes its money back but still not going to be the biggest of profits in the world i'm still projecting it to make around 50 ish million dollars in net gain profits by the end of its run we'll see if it's able to get there uh but at this point now probably lowering that down to 
25 to 50 million. Uh, beforehand, it was around 50 to 100 million. I think 25 to 50. A little bit more realistic with where the film currently is tracking. The best Christmas pageant ever, which had a very impressive opening weekend for a Lionsgate movie. Uh, 5.3 million projected to drop only 51%. Going over to Box Office Pro, their number two film is also The Last Dance, 7 to 10 million dollars. Best Christmas pageant ever, 5 to 8 million. So again, very similar range there uh, with it maybe being a little bit higher for them. Uh, box office reports number two is Venom The Last Dance at 9.4 million with best coast and pageant ever at, not at 5.7 so also very very similar so again pretty good numbers there going over to the shots because again we love these shots here best Christmas pageant ever is at currently 13.9 million domestics that's 22 million dollars in losses uh, so probably won't make its money back if I had to guess because I just don't think it's going to have enough legs to do that but it's definitely going to do a lot better than I think anyone would have anticipated so hey at least there is that coming in the next spot there for box office theory at least is going to be the film heretic uh which is a film i finally got to see last night my review is over on criticalist.com uh so go make sure to check that out and overall i thought it was a pretty rad film uh though i do think that it tries a little bit too hard in certain areas and misses some of the points as well but overall a very enjoyable experience as far as the performances are concerned and uh, a very good thriller it's always nice to have thrillers that are not demonic oriented and doing that you know random you know jump scare crap uh it's nice to have a psychological thriller that has a couple of uh, gruesome moments in it but for the most part is much more about the conversation and about the implication and the building of tension which again a lot of a24 films tend to do very well so heretic doing well 54 percent drop there so again can't say i'm too surprised uh, to see that film holding out uh this film probably will end up making money when everything is said and done because these films cost a lot less and in general they do pretty well down the line uh just staying on the site for a second the next site they have there is wild robot continuing to add to its profits so again kudos to them for being a big success smile too continuing to hold well conclave holding and we live in time another a24 film expected to be in these top uh, top films the number three film being the best christmas pageant ever oh, box office pro means that we are done now with that site and box office report for them they have best christmas pageant ever also in the number three spot heretic in the number four spot and then the wild robot also in the number five spot with 5.4 to 5.3 million so it looks like we might have a little bit of a battle between the third fourth and fifth so depending on how well this best christmas pageant ever holds again i've heard some good things about it so Maybe it will actually hold uh, as well as this, but if it doesn't, then Heretic could potentially jump into that number four, number three spot, and then, of course, Wild Robot, and for some reason, my lights are just darkening on me, I guess, ever since I just need to mention a film like Heretic in a horror film, and my lights are like, yes, let's go ahead and try to creep you out for a second. So let's go to the chart one more time here, though, just to look at some of these other releases and where they currently are with Heretic, $14 million in the red. I do think that this film will be able to, uh, you know, make its money back probably in the next couple of weeks. A24 films tend to do well down the line um, and also have somewhat delayed releases at times. And so I think Heretic will probably be, be able to do that. Do I think it's going to be one of their biggest hits? I, I doubt that. I don't think it's going to be a, a situation where, you know, from another studio, like a film like Long Legs, which was able to kind of really make, a, a, you know, make, make a very impressive show for that studio uh, and again with long legs I believe it was actually a different studio but still a one of those lower budgeted movies you know where that one was able to to leg out to such a degree to be able to you know actually do very very well in the overall market um, so this is from Osgood Perkins this was from neon that's right it was distributed by by neon so though I don't think it's going to be something like that where it's going to make that much more versus its budget I do think it'll still be able to make some profits and a24 is able to do very well especially on your blu-ray release on your post theatrical release and so Heretic, I think, will be fine. Hugh Grant, amazing in the movie. I actually would definitely recommend it, especially for anyone who likes thrillers without liking the crazy gore fest horrors. Again, a couple of gruesome gore moments, but very, very limited. And you can see them coming. And I think that's a big part of why a lot of people are probably enjoying this movie. Uh, best Christian Patch ever, 22 million in the red. Here, uh, that's right. Here wasn't even in that discussion that I just mentioned, right? This is the big Robert Zemeckis giant project. $69 million in the red. Not likely going to change anytime soon. Conclave still in the red. So it's been holding well. But again, it's one of those smaller movies. And so I don't think it's going to leg out to make any money back. But... Maybe it has a life on post theatrical because that's not a, a very large amount of money to overcome. Venom 3, again, very close to profit. Smile 2, 17 million in profit, so continuing to add to its profits. So even though it is much smaller than that of the original Smile movie, it is still doing well enough at this point. Apprentice, still a flop. Piece by piece, still a flop, though this film is now available on VOD, I believe. And then Terrifier 3 is still hanging around as well, still adding to its profits. So again, very, very impressive to see those numbers as they are. And then Last of the Wild Robots, since this is the film that's been, been laying out quite 
quite a bit. Currently 19 million in profit. Can you continue to add to that? So right now the prospects of it getting to 50 plus million dollars in profit is still pretty good. And if you just add to the fact that this movie is going to definitely have a good life after theatrical, um, you know, it's got POV, uh, PO, uh, sorry, VOD sales going on. And also it's going to have the Blu-ray 4K sales going on as well. Can't wait to buy that. I think it just went available for pre-sale. And I do think that ultimately those are going to add to its profits to very, very strong degrees. And so those are the numbers currently as they stand. What are y'all thoughts? What do you think the top three for the weekend is going to be? Red one, it's the new movie out. So it's got big names attached to it. I think it's going to get the number one spot. Whether it gets to $28 million, we'll have to see. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets between 20 and 25 million, but yeah, I mean, it's a newer film, so 28 million is definitely not off the table uh, by any means, but I can say that doesn't matter what it gets at this point, it's going to be a massive catastrophic flop, and uh, yeah, could happen to a nicer studio uh, as Amazon's films and the way that they've released their films hasn't always been really the best, so what are your thoughts about that? Also, thoughts about Venom The Last Dance, do you think that film is going to make profit this weekend? Seems very likely to be the case, and then any other films on this list, especially Heretic, I, again, finally got to see that, so have you seen Heretic? Let me know your thoughts about that, check out my review over on Criticalist.com if you want to get access to that review, I'll go ahead and pull up my profile real quick. It's a very awesome site. I've talked about this site now for a very long time. I've been on the site for over a year. Glad to see Geeks and Gamers are finally uh, on board with this site. It's been really cool to see that happen. Shout out to Blaine and just uh, congratulations uh, to him to her having a very big you know success with this project. But right now I gave it a 7 out of 10, you know, 70% score, rad score. Uh, again, ultimately the film features brilliant performances for everyone involved. But again, I do think that it seems the movie tries to be smarter than it actually is you know as he's going on these rants about religion i think that he misses a lot of very key points and even though there is some back and forth between the mormon missionaries it is a film about mormon missionaries uh being challenged on their faith i also do think that uh, they leave some things out also but anyway check my review there and uh show it some love and go ahead and join critic list today as well you guys are all amazing and beautiful people make sure that you smash that like button a lot of that fire button over an aussie smash the rumble button and uh have a wonderful rest of your day a blessed friday and as always, God bless. Now for a huge special shout out to all of my chosen of Valhalla members, starting off first with my people on Patreon, Father Luca Illick and Miss Martin Muses. Check out her YouTube channel by the same name, Miss Martin Muses. Also to my subscribe star people, Matt317. Check out his Twitch channel by the same name, Matt317. And also to the K Man. Check out his website, xtheboundaries.co. And lastly to my YouTube member, Mr. Roy. Shout out to you, good sir. And if you want your name shouted out at the end of every live stream and video, check out the top link in the video description below where you get access to that. Also, you get access to a plethora of other things. You get your name listed at the end of every live stream and video like you saw in those names that came up before this video started. And also access to a giveaways channel that I host over on the Discord server where I give away 4Ks, steelbooks, Blu-rays, all kinds of stuff. So check that out if you're interested in that. Also, I have an exclusive podcast that I hold at least once a month and uh, it's always a good time and you get extra bonus content with that also so if any of that sounds interesting again check out that top link in the video description below you guys are all amazing and beautiful people have a wonderful rest of your day and as always god bless